Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 21st, 2021. Well, yesterday, those bulls kept the pedal to the metal, kept pushing and pushing and pushing, and briefly, the diamonds tasted that rarefied air of a new record high. But this morning we see a little tiny bit of bearishness coming in. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Well, honestly, I was a little bit surprised to see um, those bulls continuing to push to the upside. It was just kind of a melt up yesterday to uh, taste that um, record high just by a tick or two in the diamonds or the Dow. And now we have a little bit of pullback. We saw it pull back just, just slightly at the end of the day yesterday. But now we have a little bit of a pullback. We have some issues that are cropping up um, that I'm not sure too many people are paying attention to. Um, I, I am. The um, China or Chinese government continues to try to say the Evergrande situation is a one-off event and it's of no concern whatsoever. The problem is the real estate market in China is collapsing pretty quickly and it's very reminiscent of the 2008 collapse that was triggered here in the United States. Now, I don't know if that contagion spreads, but it is certainly getting worse. And there's news this morning that Evergrande um, missed or failed to um, reach an agreement um, to try and alleviate some of those problems. But um, this contagion is certainly spreading around China. Whether it breaks out into other areas, I don't know. Keep a close eye on that. That said, we have a lot of data coming toward us this morning. Today will be our biggest day on this earnings uh, season calendar so far. And we have jobless claims, manufacturing data, and housing data that we'll also have to digest this morning. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain any information about how we might want to approach the market for today. As I have been talking about and, and, and warning about as we continue to stretch this up in this wild speculation move, notice that there is very little in the way of price support underneath this until we push all the way back down into here. And that would be a pretty darn painful pullback if that were to occur. Now, we have this possibility that we could push right on through this resistance um, in the chart. But as you can see, gapping down a bit this morning, we're seeing a little bit of bearish pressure coming into play. And it really is going to depend on how we react to all of this data today. Can we find enough inspiration in this to just power on through? Maybe we just consolidate up here um, as a possibility and that would be a nice thing to see if we could just rest and shake off some of this wild wild price action run um, it adds a tremendous amount of danger to every trader when we get this wild speculation and wide-eyed speculation heading into earnings reports but that being said, we could certainly continue if we can find if those bulls decide that, hey, there's just no worries here whatsoever. Personally, I don't see that with inflation going higher, supply chain problems. All of these things are starting to show us that there is trouble in the um, underlying market but we're trying to put our head in the sand and ignore it and perhaps we can perhaps we can do that and push right on through as for me guys i'm going to be a little bit cautious today um I, and i was cautious yesterday thinking um pretty carefully about a pullback um a possibility in the chart so let's watch carefully for that possibility and i'll show you some other signs that would suggest that could be the case but um, anything is possible when it comes around earnings season and when we have such a desire 
to buy up risk in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY also pushing up here toward those resistance highs didn't quite make it. So this chart would suggest that we still have that possibility. If those bulls find the inspiration, you know, it's uh, the SPY doesn't like to be left behind. So it could certainly push on through to that upside and test those highs in the chart. At the same time, if we were to pull back, let's just notice that the pullback to a support level could be relatively painful. Um, notice these gaps that we have in this chart. I've talked about that before. Just imagine if those gaps start to be filled. Um, um, how painful that could potentially be. So let's watch this carefully. If we do get a rest or pullback, let's look for some support around this area. And and again, I'm going to say what would be the healthiest thing? What would what would be nice is if we could spill off some of these this wild volatility and just rest. If we just had a longer term consolidation here or rest, that would be one of the best things that the market could do. But don't think that's going to happen around earnings events. We're going to stay pretty volatile around these earnings events. So watch that carefully for that potential of a pullback. And certainly if we can find the inspiration, that ability that we could push on out and stretch this into a seven day rally. If we take a look at the Q's, QQQ had a little bit of a challenge yesterday. It just couldn't quite get the energy that it needed to push on through. Although there was tremendous anticipation about um, big tech earnings reports, we have to keep in mind that those profit to PE ratios on a lot of those big techs are seriously extended. So can they produce the numbers that will make investors happy? That's gonna be a question. Um, I think um, next week that we will get the answer to. So watch that carefully right in here and notice that the QQQ has a little bit of price support right in here. But if that does not hold, we certainly could pull back into this level, which would be a little bit on the painful side if that were the case. Also keeping in mind that if we were to fail here, that could constitute a lower high in the SPY. So watch carefully for that possibility if we do pull back. Can't say that we will if we do pull back. And then if we take a look at the Russell, the Russell had a great day yesterday with energy prices. If we take a look at XLE, surprisingly, energy just doesn't want to take a break. It is continuing to push higher and higher and higher. I, I do believe energy needs needs a break. But um, what we're seeing is that inflationary pressure really pushing here on um, energy, continuing to force it higher. We hear about these energy crisis situations in China, India, Europe. Um, those prices are really starting to pinch us here in the United States as well as we head into in, uh, winter. So keep an eye on that. If they continue to press higher, and we saw in the um, 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 oil status report yesterday, a petroleum status report, a surprise decline in, in those supplies. So pressure continues to remain on energy. Let's take a look at the financials. Now the financials also pushed up yesterday and that really is helping um, the, the Russell index uh, push higher. But let's go back to that Russell and take a look at it and notice that we are still, even though we've been very, very bullish here, we're still challenged by this resistance high up here. We've attempted, attempted, attempted. We keep knocking on the door, but so far that door hasn't opened uh, to the upside. So keep an eye on this. We're still wandering around in this trend or in this wedge, and we continue to press against that upper level to see if we can push through. If we get any kind of push back in this, watch this area in here um, where we could pull back or even come all the way back down into the lower side of that wedge. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday, while we were bullish, 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 just continuing to push to the upside, notice that we were just kind of unable to break to new lows here in the VIX. So um, that uh, we didn't see an increase in fear at all, but we didn't see what we would normally see in a very bullish day. And that is fear 
truly diminishing quite a bit. So we're holding these support levels in here. The pullback this morning could show us a little bit of a pop off of this level. So watch that carefully. And again, I don't think that that makes any major difference unless we break back above this little downtrend that we lost here, or uptrend that we lost. If we break back above that and hold, then we could have some trouble. But a little bit of uh, profit-taking sell-off doesn't hurt us um, in this market. We're really stretched out. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 definitely displays that stretched out situation here in the market. We did find that inspiration yesterday and push back up in here into that bearish reversal. As a matter of fact, earlier in the day when we were hitting those new highs, we were pushing right up in here toward that 100 level. Um, in the chart. So we are quite extended in the short term. Now I can tell you T2122 doesn't necessarily have to see a collapse in price. That's what we've seen lately. Either it's an all in or we're running for the doors, um, all or nothing market. Doesn't have to be that way. If we were to consolidate, we could actually, if the markets were to consolidate, we could actually see T2122 pull back in a very controlled way. Unfortunately, since we're so stretched out, we also have that possibility if those bears find inspiration, we could see a pretty substantial pullback and that could be rather painful. Now, where that might go, I can't say, but we certainly have a big opening here if those bears get truly inspired. So watch carefully for that. And then let's take a look at our T2107. This is bullish. D2107. Um, T2107, the percentage of stocks above their 200-day moving average. Notice that we broke above that downtrend and we're holding up in here and we improved yesterday. So we held and improved yesterday. If we can continue to see those stocks improving just a little bit, notice we're, we're approaching 50%. 50% of the stocks back above their 200-day moving average would be a nice show of some support. So watch that carefully here in T2107. T2101, unfortunately, saw a little bit of a surge up yesterday. And what that can mean is we had a little bit of barrier activity starting to show up um, yesterday. And as I've said before, when we reach these low areas down here, we can sometimes see that little bit of profit taking wave, a little bit of a bear wave to uh, push us back up. So watch that carefully in here if we were to push our spike back up here with a little bit of selling. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, we've got those things that I've mentioned here already. We have a jobless claims number coming in here at 830. Now, the consensus is suggesting claims are going to increase um, this time. Now watch that closely. If the consensus is, if we come in close to consensus, we're probably going to be just fine. We've been able to ignore this job situation pretty well in the market. But if that were to come in hot, if that number comes in bigger than expected, that could add to a little bit of bearish pressure. So watch carefully for that. We're going to get a reading from the Philly Fed, and we're also going to catch a reading from existing home sales. Now, existing home sales could be a little bit of an issue. If you guys saw what happened in mortgage applications yesterday, mortgage applications came in sharply lower. And that might mean we be we might start running into some problems here on these existing home sales. So watch carefully for that. And then we've got a natural gas report and a Fed balance sheet, which you know nobody cares about. Um, almost eight and a half trillion, and it just doesn't matter. Keep printing, keep printing. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now, our earnings calendar, we have a busy day. We have over 75 companies listed on the calendar. Now, some of those are not confirmed reports, but we're going to have a big day of earnings events. So, Keep a close eye on these. Now, I don't have time to cover all of the um, earnings events um, that will be kicking off today. So please make sure and click that link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the blog and you can get that full list of notables. Um, we're going to hear from like AT&T today. 
whoops, let's get rid of that. Looks like AT&T perking up here just a little bit. We're gonna hear from um, Alley Financial. We're gonna hear from Crocs. We're gonna hear from Valero. Um, we're also gonna pick up news from um, Intel later today. Um, Intel will be reporting later today. We've got Mattel in there. We have Snap in there. So keep a close eye on these. We have a lot of different areas, a lot of different sectors. I'm um, catching some reports that could move us around pretty substantially. So watch carefully for those. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I want to suggest to everyone that these are... Um, these videos are meant for education purposes only. Don't don't blindly follow someone else's uh, trading plan or trade ideas. Create your own. And if this helps you, then that's awesome. And I truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to click that thumbs up button and also click that bell. I mean the. Um, um, response so that you can leave a brief comment in the video um, helps us continue to grow and as you know we're growing uh, pretty nicely we're headed toward 25,000 we crossed over 24,400 yesterday and we're moving that direction and um, what I said is I do wood carving and I have started doing some Christmas tree wood carving here um, and well, doggone it, I, for some reason, can't make that picture show up. So um, um, I will be giving away one of um, my carvings and I'll get another, I'll get a picture to show you that here as um, soon as I can. So let's take a look at some stock setting up and let's keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the risk and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. A couple ideas that I've mentioned before. Take a look at Oracle. Um, Unfortunately, a, a lot of these stocks um, are going to be reporting soon, which can create all kinds of issues, but Oracle's a little bit different. It doesn't report until December 9th. And as you take a look in here, we're setting up in a nice little pattern. We have this nice little consolidating move um, and resting out here toward this trend. Um, getting a little bit of a pullback today, and that's okay. If we can pull back in and hold in, on this area and contact that trend. That's where I would be looking for that upside opportunity. Keep an eye on that. You might keep an eye on Cisco as well. Cisco has been creeping up here, um, kind of quietly creeping up. But what I like about this chart is that we've broken the downtrend. We're holding a substantial level of price support here in the chart. And we're starting to show that bullishness. This was a beautiful little Morningstar pattern right here that showed up right on support and trend and we did follow through to the upside so keep an eye on that if this rests or pulls back today watch for that next opportunity to enter into that position um, i think guys we need to be keeping an eye on silver and gold this morning we're seeing bonds continue to move higher and silver had a pretty good day yesterday um, and a rare day where it actually opened high and then continued to move up. Today we're catching a pullback in silver, but let's notice here, we're above our 50 day moving average for the first time in a long time. And if this were to rest or consolidate in here, pull back, hold somewhere above that 50 day moving average in here, we set up that opportunity for a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout. And that's where we kind of are oversold in a stock. We hold above that 50. Notice our 50 day is starting to turn higher. And we look for that entry and having that move up toward that 200 day moving average. So watch carefully. Silver starting to pick up. Also take a look at gold. Uh, gold trying to perk up yesterday. Pushed up this morning. It's pushing back down. So watch that carefully. Now gold is not in a really good pattern here. So not ready for buy side 
um, interest just yet. A lot of congestion up here, but keep an eye on that. Very unorganized chart at the moment. However, having said that, let's take a look at some of the gold miners. Take a look at AUY. AUY breaking this downtrend in the chart, breaking through some resistance levels in the chart, holding it as support and setting up that possibility that we could follow this trend right on up to the upside. Keep an eye on AUY. Take a look at Barrick Gold. Barrick Gold. There we go. Barrick Gold showing us that pattern. It still has a resistance level here in the chart to deal with. Notice this inverted head and shoulders pattern that's been displayed here. We're starting to show that bullishness, break the downtrend. So let's watch for that opportunity that that might push on through. How about Newmont? Newmont Mining pushing through that resistance level in the chart, breaking that downtrend, showing some patterns here, starting to show some improvement in this sector. If we take a look at um, AY, um, excuse me, AU, um, we see another gold stock that's moving up pretty nicely here, pushing, pushing through. So keep an eye on some of those miners. They're starting to show a little bit of bullishness coming through on those charts. Let's also keep a close eye on some of these energy stocks. Um, I'm holding KMI, as I've said, and KMI reported earnings last night and pulled back just a little bit. But I got to tell you, there's nothing about this chart that scares me at the moment. If we open right in here, we're just setting up a nice little consolidation in that chart where we can rest or come back to this overall trend here in the chart. So keep an eye on some of these stocks as they rest, consolidate, pull back. Um, those are the kind of setups that I look for. One of the things that I don't do, and this is just a little bit of education here for you, is I don't look for the big popping candle. I don't, I don't chase around the white candles. I actually look for these patterns that are setting up, like right here where I can catch that early low risk entry into the trade. When we're stretched up here, I'm not so interested, but if that can kind of consolidate across in here, rest back into this trend, ah, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. So watch carefully for something like that as uh, KMI continues to form up. And that's gonna be the same for a lot of these energy sector stocks. One chart that I want to be keeping an eye on is I want to be keeping an eye here on um, Intel. Intel, um, as it reports today, this could mess up everything in this chart. I was watching this for um, an entry back over here, didn't occur, and now we're going to be facing earnings in this chart. I'm afraid it could mess everything up. We could pop up big or we could gap down low. I don't know, but if we get bullish, if we push above this area in here, I will be watching that after it kind of settles down after earnings for a potential entry into the trade. Take a look at charts like um, Altria. Mo uh, turning, starting to perk up here just a little bit. Pushing up through here, pulling back, finding that higher low, we could start seeing some of these defensive sector stocks picking up a bit if the market starts getting worried. Unfortunately, this is gonna report here early next week, so that could mess that up as well. But keep that in mind. Take a look at the CHPT checkpoint. Breaking that downtrend here in the chart, notice we have that look of that inverted head and shoulders pattern. There's our shoulder, head, shoulder breaking through that downtrend. Now, any proof that we can hold up here sets up opportunity. And last but not least in that pattern, let's take a look at some of the cannabis stocks. Take a look at ACB. ACB popping through some resistance, big old head and shoulders pattern, inverted showing here in that chart, breaking through some resistance levels in this area. So if cannabis, if ACB can rest or hold up here, um, I'm your huckleberry for that. That's the kind of trade I look for. So watch carefully in there on ACB. We can also see those kind of signs um, in uh, TLRY, trying to break these downtrends, hold some higher lows. It's got a little more work to do with resistance above, but some of those are trying to come back around. So there's a few things for you to consider. There's a lot of different areas, a lot of different stocks I just don't have the time to cover this morning. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early 
Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.